Hey gang, week six, day three vocabulary. We've got three words. It's kind of lengthy, so I'll kind of pare it down and not read everything. Just give you a, a good idea of what each word means. The first word is approach. It's a verb and it means to, to come or to go near to. Be careful when you approach a strange dog. Okay, as a transitive verb, it means to come or go near to. The child approached the dog carefully. The enemy is approaching the castle. Okay, to move in the direction or become nearly equal to in quality, degree, or amount. The price used to be $2 a pound, but now it's approaching $5 a pound. Okay. Um, to go before someone intending to make a proposal or a request, he approached his father about bar borrowing the car. Um, to begin to address, how should we approach this huge task? As an intransitive verb, it means to come near or draw near in space or time. Spring is approaching and the snow is beginning to melt. As a noun, it means the act of coming or drawing near. The approach of a fox woke the chickens. A way or means of entering or coming near. Okay, so, hmm. Got that thing turned around. Here we go. The police are, are guarding every approach to the house. All right, these are some examples of how the word or forms of the word can be used. It was approaching midnight when the cab dropped Dave off at his house. Number two. But as Dave approached the house on foot, none of the lights seemed to be on. Number three. He also had to be on the lookout for wolves and ready to run for help if one approached. Four. Mexican General Santa Ana marched up from Mexico with many troops. He crossed the Rio Grande and approached San Antonio. All right, the next word is factor. As a noun, it means one of the causes of something, something that makes a difference in a result. Lower housing costs were a factor in our decision to move. As an advanced definition as a noun, it means something that has an influence on or is a partial cause of something that happens. The element of surprise was an important factor in determining the outcome of the battle. Several factors led to the weakening of the economy. Number two, one who works as an agent for another. Number three, in mathematics, one of two or more quantities that produce a given quantity when they are multiplied together. Mul I can't say that word. Multiplicand. Six and two are factors of twelve. As a transitive verb in mathematics to express a number in terms of its factor. Spanish cognate, factor. Spanish word factor means factor. These are some examples of how the word or forms of the word are used. One, a variable is a factor in an experiment that can change, the, can change or affect the result. Number two, both Dennis and Mahin suspect that hypertension, a high blood pressure, is a factor in the disease. Number three, in some species, weapons are a factor in both types of sexual selection. Female choice and male combat. All right, next word, impact. As a noun, it means the coming together of objects with great force. The impact of the bus against the tree cracked the windshield. Number two, a strong and powerful effect. The senator's speech on gun control had a great impact on voters. As an advanced definition, as a noun, a forceful coming together of two objects or bodies. The impact of the crash was strong enough to shake the building. Number two, effect or influence. His stirring speech had a great impact on the audience. As a transitive verb, it means to force or press closely into something. Here is where the meteorite impacted the earth. 
Spanish cognate, impacto. The Spanish word impacto means to impact. Oops. These are some examples of how the word or forms of the word are used. I have my pages all mixed up. Number one, livestock's contribution to environmental problems is on a massive scale. UN officials wrote in a recent report, the impact is so significant that it needs to be addressed with urgency. Number two, although the friend and a third teen walked away, Bollier, now 27, wasn't so lucky. The impact not only crushed his jaw, nose, and right eye, but also snapped his neck, leaving him paralyzed from the neck down. Number three, Mercury has an unexpectedly small mantle. The mantle is the layer of, of a rocky planet that exists between the crust and the core. Our theory is that a giant impact blew off most of the mantle, says scientist Sarah Stewart. All right, that is it for vocabulary. Now we'll do our 10 questions and be done.